All right, well, it costs $8 to get here for the day if you don't have a parking permit. And they have bike trails or walking trails, so we're gonna go, that's what we're gonna do, we're just gonna walk. They have a beach, but I don't think we're gonna go on the beach because it's sunset. There's a point down here where you can get to to see the sunset down this trail. And you can see the trail going that way, and then they're here. That's what they call it. This part goes along the road a little bit. The trail goes back into the woods. Here to the left. We're definitely seeing bikers here. Yeah, it's much colder in here, cooler, with the sun, with the shade from the sun. We saw a water park, it's called Summer Waves. That's to the right, we keep going this way. We could go to the beach if we go that way. All right, we walked over to the Summer Waves. They're closed now, because it's March. What is it, early March? Yeah, mid-March. Early mid-March and there's nobody here. The parking lots are empty and they have cameras in them. They have a weather policy, yeah. No refunds. Even if it's cold today and they're shut down, no refunds. Season pass, $80. Kid, All right, we're back on the trail and there's some overlook here. Well, Corn. Back on the road. Raccoons, how'd they go? Two of them. All right, we're going down this way. This path kind of ends at the road here on the other side and beyond these trees is the beach. We might go take a peek there before we go to this park for the sunset because I think some of the beach down here is not accessible because it's a 4-H camp. We're going to make a left at the soccer complex. There should be a boardwalk to go to the beach and then we'll just turn around. Down here is the Glory Beach Boardwalk. Yeah, we're at the soccer fields. We might try to catch the sunset at the beach, so that means we're just going to keep going down this way as far as we can till it ends. It's super low tide here. These are like the smallest shells I've ever seen. Look how tiny they are. 
this is my finger, but they're actual shells, you can see. Super tiny baby shells. Super tiny baby shells. They're everywhere. Tons of birds down there. water. Can't really quite get out there where the birds are because of the water. We're about a half hour from the sunset. We can see this roped off area. I think it's for the 4-H camp. There's people gathering down here. They may be down here just for the sunset. Rolling sands. This is kind of the St. Andrew Beach, Jekyll Point area. There's a rainbow straight ahead. There are a lot of birds there at the very edge of the point. That's where the rainbow points to also. The shifting sands. Oh man. Right at the very edge. that bird. Look at the size of that bird. That bird is just walking, walking. Whoa. This is Jekyll Point. sunset view right here, right at this point. There's the bridge into Brunswick.
have no idea that it goes inland, but we're going to try to get off this and find it so low. restroom in the parking lot out right here. There goes the sunset. So we've already walked forever to get down there. We're just gonna take this road and the path along it back up to where we started. <laughs> 